Pope Francis speaks out against war on Christmas. Pope Francis, in an interview given on a recent flight from Greece, called a leaked internal document from the European Commission that advised staffers on the use of inclusive language, quote, anachronistic. The document in question advised the commission staffers to, quote, avoid assuming that everyone is Christian. The Italian tabloid Il Giornale uh, leaked the document in an article and accused the European Commission of, quote, canceling Christmas and, quote, attacking common sense. The document also received support for its efforts to make sure that everyone is valued and recognized regardless of their gender, racial or ethnic origin, religion, disability, age, or sexual orientation, which also received a fair amount of backlash. According to the Pope, this document is a, quote, watered down approach to Christianity, adding that throughout history, many, many dictatorships have tried to do it. He warned not to open a way for ideological colonization. He said, quote, this will make the European Union fail, he cautioned. The Catholic <laughs> Church, the Catholic Church is telling that the European Union will fail. Amazing. Um, commission. The okay. European Commission. Commission. So I want to thank the Pope for telling the world that making sure that everybody is valued is an attack on Christianity. <laughs> it's an attack on Christmas. I mean, is that, isn't that what he's saying? Like the leaked document, they're saying like, hey, do not assume everyone's religion and make sure that everybody feels included and valued no matter who they are. Make, some, make sure that people are, feel appreciated and part of society, whether whatever the religion or ethnicity or sexual orientation or gender identity is make them feel valued that is an attack on christianity that is i agree with the pope i agree with the pope that making sure people are valued is an attack on christianity yeah completely endorse this message it's it's so funny to me because um so this is a document that the European Commission issued to its own staff, right? So this is an intern or it, or I think it was maybe a draft or something that was maybe going to be proposed, right? But this was supposed to be for its own employees. This isn't like for the people of Europe, right? This is for their inter their own organization. And so it um, suggested that members of the commission avoid using the word Christmas. Instead, they should favor holidays. It also advised against using names that are typically from one religion, substituting Maria and John with Malika and Julio when referring to a hypothetical couple. Um, and then it also provided guidelines on how to address gender and sexual orientation, drawing criticisms from everyone from Vatican represent representatives, far right politicians, and then also the Pope. <laughs> and how, then how, the, the yeah, European wait, Commission wait, even they apologized wait. and retracted this document. No. Yeah, they're no. like it's a work in progress, and then they're they're going to publish an updated version. The updated version better say. Fuck the Pope. <laughs> and Merry Christmas. <laughs> um, how, how pathetically weak and fragile your entire institution must be for you to feel attacked for people saying happy holidays? And mind, I remind you that nobody is stopping anybody for, say, for saying Merry Christmas. No, you could say Merry Christmas. You feel attack because some people are saying Happy Holidays instead of Merry Christmas while you still get to say Merry Christmas? Like, how are you being at? How? Why are you so weak? Why are you so pathetic? I mean, this is good. Actually, actually, this is good. These, these people used to burn us alive, and now they feel attacked because we're saying happy holidays. This is progress. This is actually, progress. This is 
<laughs> oh my god. <laughs> no, okay. Good. I thought it was funny because so um I I am I uh, work with my team to do the titles for these articles. And so technically the Pope didn't talk about what in America is called the war on Christmas. But I felt like this is basically like the European equivalent of having that conversation because it's just like the war on Christmas is about the use of inclusive language like in america it's always been that way like having starbucks put happy holidays on their cups instead of having it be all about christmas specifically is suddenly like an attack on christians um and so i thought it was really funny to kind of see this happen in a different context and now the pope is even talking about it and the level of self-awareness to call the level of self-awareness to call this ideological ideological colonization is hilarious to me it's like you're you're oh my God, you're, you're right. telling me about ideological colonization and there were all these other spokespeople from the vatican talking about how this is denying the true christian roots of europe and all this stuff like the fact easy. that the word the word colonization is coming out of the mouths of pope like again the level of self-awareness like are you like do you know who you are do you know what you represent do you know what your institution is responsible for like are you serious like how could you like if i was the pope i would never use those words unless i was apologizing for something <laughs> Like what the hell are you? Are you like? How could you not see this is going to be a back backlash? You're going to complain about people colonizing you for saying happy holidays, where you literally you are the you let the way in main main countries colonizing. You are responsible for the worst acts of colonization. Your institution that you endorse again. This would be different. Like people like Army. Well, they're not the same people. Well, if they had condemned it, if they were like, oh, we're not, we're different now. You say every goddamn pope is infallible. That's your doctrine. So you are endorsing the other things that the other popes have done. So even if they were other people, you haven't apologized for it. You, your institution is responsible, the, the most responsible institution in the whole world for, for colonizing white people by killing them. And now you're telling people that we're being colonized for saying happy. Like, I can't believe, I can't believe the level of hypocrisy. Like you can't, it's impossible. It should be physically impossible. This breaks the laws of math and physics in the universe for somebody to be able to <laughs> this, this hypocritical and this, like, this is like, <laughs> like, we need scientists. We need modern physics to come and figure out how this is possible. Oh, and also oh another thing, God. another thing, another thing I want to like, tell you know am i you know am i going to tell i'm going to use this opportunity to tell every single atheist that said this pope is different this pope is good you know we're modernizing the reform is coming like every single one of you like i told you so okay i told you so you were you were stupid you were idiots for you to have any hope in any pope or any religion for that matter okay do not put do not invest in reforming religions okay you have the move move has to always be in removing religion from our lives in eliminating religion from our lives there's no hope in reforming christianity there's no hope in reforming islam there's only hope in getting rid of religion and every single one of them all of them okay there's no like oh maybe islam first no every single religion okay they're all holding us back from progress and this is another example this was supposed to be the progressive pope anyways damn well you know it's always good to get that in there <laughs> yeah <laughs> hope in the pope yeah <laughs> is, it, that, is that like a religious uh hop on pope? no that's like a dr seuss uh, novel something exactly yeah. yeah all right read some comments while i get the next news Atheist, I'm uh, sorry, a Gaijin American is saying the Chinese are inventing a new god named Santa Guan. Oh, Combining Santa Claus with Guan Yu, god of war exams, brotherhood, and oath. Oh. Oaths. Whoa. So does okay, the Santa, do. does, does Santa Guan, does he bring good grades? Does he, does he help you ace your tests? 
Like mm. he just makes you a, like a like a demigod of taking exams. Like is that what Santa Guan brings to you? Interesting. Having the you god should, of war also be the war of the god of exams is very interesting to me. It's fitting. It's fitting. Yeah. It's fitting. As somebody, yeah. as somebody who has experienced war and also exams, I can tell you to this day, I have nightmares about exams. I don't have nightmares about war. So. <laughs> <laughs> I remember Saddam bombing us, but I don't have nightmares about that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No. I'm okay. I'm. I, this was a joke. I'm not dismissing yeah. the experience of war. Okay. Okay. Um. Okay, okay. Should oh my god, we... he's saying you only get presents if you get good grades. Are you joking oh or is this actually how Santa Guan works? <laughs> I need answers. We need to look into this. That's very interesting. Hey guys, if you're a fan of Blasphemy and Sexy Callie, you know, like me, then you need to be sure to subscribe to our newsletter. Link in the description below. Because if you subscribe, we will send you a free copy of our Blasphemous Art ebook. And let me tell you, it is the tastiest blasphemy that you can find anywhere available today. And we are so generous with our blasphemy that we continue to send you more blasphemy every week. So make sure to subscribe. Link in the description below.